So a brand new TV station has launched for Liverpool. And let's be honest, we're a city with lots going on. Whether it's the noise of a gig booming through the Echo Arena, the O2 Academy or the Kaz. Applause from the Empire, the Epstein or the Everyman. Laughter and giggles from one of our many comedy clubs. Or noise from the paparazzi taking photographs of our favourite celebrities. We are going to bring you the ultimate guide as to what is going on in this city and beyond entertainment wise. My name is Ellie Phillips. My name is Jay Hines. And this is The Guide on Bay TV Liverpool. How good is this? Our first ever show on Bay TV Liverpool with the guy. Made up, made up to be sat next to you, Ellie Phillips. Made up as well to be here at Hopscotch on Matthew Street. Isn't it lovely? So nice in here. It really is. And it's great to be doing the first show from the first real musical epicentre of the city. There's so much history and culture down here on Matthew Street. Certainly is. We've got Flair's 70s bar, we've got Reminis 90s bar, the Rubber Soul, uh, the no, White Star, no, we've no, got the no, Buskers, no. Saturday Jay, Night Jay, I was Boom, talking yeah. about the Cavern, the Wall of Fame, Scylla, the Beatles, that stuff. Yeah, that's all right, but Flair's on a Saturday. Come on. I can't get Amazing. Sometimes. Anyway, if you love music, you love theatre, comedy, you're into your celebs and you like to know what's going on, then this is the show for you. It certainly is. Every single week we're going to bring you a handy little what's on guide as to what is going on entertainment wise in our city. Whether it's a celebrity, a bit of gossip, some great musical talent and of course the main thing, we'll have a little giggle as well. Of course we will. And we really want you to get involved in the show too. So get on Twitter and use the hashtag BayTVGuide. And if there's an event you want us to cover, a celeb you want us to find, or you just want to say hi, then let us know using that hashtag, BayTVGuide. And we have got a fun packed show for you today for the first one. Simbad is in the building. He's sat over there. Michael, Mickey Stark <laughs> uh, is here. He's going to be chatting to us in just a second. Peter Hooten from The Farm will be with us. Uh, but first, let's start as we mean to go on. Our first musical guest. So excited to have him here. He plays the Epstein Theatre this coming Saturday. Don't miss it. Take it away, Mr. Stephen Langstaff. At this point I know who I am and I like the people I have around me. I've been travelling in the capital, contemplating on Black Northern Line, the line, 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 oh, line, the line, line, line. And sometimes I think I am turning into my father, but that's all right. Cause he taught me how to be myself, and I salute you now on the Black Northern Line. Line, 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 oh, line, 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 line. At the weekend, I'll call this girl and see if she's free to have a good time with me. If she's busy or has a boyfriend, I'll say, if that changes, then you drop me a line, a line, line, line. Oh, line, la line, line, line. At this point, I know who I am, and I like the people I have around me. And I've been traveling in this great city, contemplating on the Black Northern Line. Hey, 
amazing. Amazing performance. And more from Stephen Langstaff later in the show. And don't forget, you can catch him at the Epstein Theatre this Saturday. Well in, Steve. But right now, something very special. So Our first ever guest on Bay TV Liverpool's The Guide. Uh, it's only Liverpool legend Michael Stark. How are you oh, doing, Michael? Great, thanks. I can't believe I'm the first guest. Very you must have been able to get someone. You? <laughs> You've cast the net far. Yeah. <laughs> I was walking past, actually. I was going to the, uh, the shop. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> you just dragged him in. Right, dragged him off the street. <laughs> story uh, of my life. Big store, big show at the moment. Yep. World Court. Uh, yep. Scouts of the Antarctic. Yep. It's been running a couple of weeks now. Tell us about it. It's getting massive reviews all over the city, Mike. It's, it's brilliant. It's just a, an unashamed Scouse fest, as mm. we call them. We have them every year at the Royal Court. We've got a great audience that love them. Keep coming back. We've sold really well this year. So we're all dead chuffed. Great young cast. Uh, some new faces to Royal Court. I'll have to plug my daughter as I well, Hayley. Oh, yeah, is that no, the Hayley. first time you've performed with Hayley then? With Hayley it is, yeah. Jamie did um, Nightmare on Lime Street two years ago. And uh, yeah, so this is um, Hayley's first show at the Royal Court. So, yeah. so it's turning into a bit of a family affair. What's it like yeah. working with family members? It's, it's a nightmare. <laughs> see, I have to I work with her. Yeah. And she's not even in my family. She's because just a mate. They think they can correct. You see, I usually, I'm like the, the naughty boy of the cast and I run around thinking everyone should laugh at me. But when your family are looking at you like that, you know, they don't get away with anything while, when you're working with your family. No, but it is great fun. But, um, you know, you just have to be careful. Yeah. It's a great cast. You've got Lindsay Germain in there oh, as well. Yeah. We love Lindsay. Oh, uh, good Scouse a, cast. There, yeah, mu there must be a lot of pranks step. going on. And all the like time. That. All the time. Um, you know. Not that we're not uh, dedicated to oh, our crash, you know. yeah, but yeah. no, I mean there are. It's just well, it's a fun show, and there are things go wrong, you know, uh, and it's a fast pace, so sometimes some dialogue might get a little bit garbled or messed yeah. up. And then they're in like hyenas, and you know, the one thing about the, the Royal Court cast, the Christmas casts particularly, is that if you make a mistake, they're on you, right. they're on you, and then it's sink or swim, you know. So you, you do learn a lot, you know. And actually, the audience are the same. You know, they, they, we sort of invite them to have a little go, but within reason. You know what I mean? Because by Act Two, they've had a little bit of medicine. You know, some, yeah, of, them are, yeah. some of them are a little bit more Christmassy. You know what it's like in that Royal Court. Oh, yes. Loads of pantos on at the moment. So is this kind of like the alternative for, for all these pantomimes? I don't think. I don't know that it's. Well, perhaps it is an alternative. Um, you know, we we do seem to keep our mainstay audience regardless of what shows are on in town but there is such a great choice in yeah. Liverpool at the moment and the, the last few years that's been the case so I think people are actually enjoying it it's a lot of money you, you know as you know to go and see the shows and you know, a lot of people have to pick one yeah. and say well we'll go to that one particularly if you if you have to take the kids and what have you um, this is more adult orientated so you know it's good for a night out for a lot of um, companies, businesses and that, they come along in the, the droves, you know, <laughs> and hen parties, we get a lot of them, oy. and, uh, but yeah, yeah, so it, but, you know, they'll come to our show regardless, because if, even if they have to take the kids to a panto, on the traditional mm. panto, they'll still come and see our show, because it offers them that little difference. A little bit of naughtiness. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's naughty, I suppose. And it is a little bit different. And although it is on at Christmas time, it transcends that because it's a two-month run. Is it difficult yeah. performing for that length of time? No, I think everyone's just glad to be working. You know? <laughs> it's it's difficult. I think because I've done so many pantos, that is difficult. So once Christmas has gone by and you're still singing about Santa and all that kind of, that can be a little bit different. Ours is set in the North Pole. They're not particularly Christmassy shows. Although this year we do have a snowman with Tourette's and, um, <laughs> well, it's the Royal Court. And uh, so it's not particularly Christmassy. Um, there are one or two Christmas elements in it because of the snow mm. and the ice. But uh, no, normally, I mean, like Night Nightmare on Lime Street wasn't a Christmassy show and mm. neither was, um, what, what did we do last year? Uh, uh, oh, um, Hitchhiker's Guide to Vazakali last yeah. year. So that was set in outer space. So, you know, you don't, you, I don't think Father Christmas Slay gets that far no, out. No, no. But uh, no, no, it's great fun. We're just having such a, a lot of fun with it. That's why we don't mind doing it. We go on until March, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Let's talk about your career, mate, because you've had a huge career. Um, Brookside, does it ever get tiring here in Sinbad across the road? Uh, no, yeah, because it's nice because most people are friendly. I mean, you know, it depends on, on you know, um, you know, sometimes when you've heard it 500 times in the day, but they, I don't get it as much as I used to. I think once your profile's a little raised or you're doing any telly, mm then, um, yeah, it tends to happen. But I think because it was such a, um, a well-loved character within the city, I, I don't get a problem. I never get a problem from anybody. You know, people come up and they'll, they'll shout it in your face, but 
99.9% of people are just being friendly. Yeah. You know, I mean, he was a great character, and Brookie yeah. is his mist, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. it is. Yeah, it still gets such a lot of uh, feedback about mm. Brookie. It's amazing. Um, well, listen, we've got we've got we've got a giveaway oh, which we must we mention. We like uh, here. We've got four <laughs> tickets to get our first ever competition on the show uh, with our first ever guest. We've got four tickets to give away, mate. Oh, lovely. lovely. Um, Can I have them? <laughs> yeah, that's my feet. Sell them outside. <laughs> <That's my feet. laughs> yeah. uh, but dead easy. I, I knew this answer straight away. And on I this. didn't. I if you get on Twitter right now, uh, who was the first Brit to reach the South Pole? I knew that. I didn't Google it. You so Googled it. I you got your iPhone honestly. out and you had a little sneaky shirt. Oh, the South Pole. The South Pole. So Antarctica, who was the first Brit to get there? Use the hashtag Bay TV Guide and answer that question. We'll pick a winner at random. We will indeed. Listen, thanks for coming in, mate. Oh, appreciate absolutely it. Absolutely welcome. Thanks 17th very much. Jan, it's on till. So yep, enjoy. to Jan. And uh, come on down and uh, we'll see you in a bar after. Show? Yes. <laughs> definitely, Thanks. definitely not to be missed. Thanks so much, Mickey. You're and welcome. stay right where you are as we've got much more to come. We'll find out what was what all that noise was at Moorfield Station a few weeks ago. We've also got Peter Hooten from the farm coming in to chat about the Peace Collective single and more from Stephen Langstaff. Go and grab a cuppa and we'll see you soon. Michael Stark. Thank You're you. You're welcome, guys. Thank you. Welcome back to the first episode of The Guide here on Bay TV Liverpool. She is the lovely Ellie Phillips, looking gorgeous today by the way, and my name is Jay Hines. This is the show that lets you know exactly what is going on in Liverpool and beyond. Yep, music, gigs, festivals, comedy, theatre events and celebrity, we will cover it all. We will, because let's face it, so much happens around here. It's always chocker busy with events and it's that time of year again. Time for the cheesy songs, the innuendo, the heartfelt love songs, the love stories and time for Pete Price to dust off his wig and put his dame costume back on. Oh no, it's not. No, unfortunately it is. And you can't miss the billboards all over the city. Proper They're war of the pantos this year, isn't yeah. it? Uh, but the Empire have got a great one. Aladdin starring Ray Quinn, Claire Sweeney, Leanne Campbell and Peter Price. Yeah, Price. <laughs> Apparently he's not a dame this year though. He's an emperor. Really? Mm -hmm. It can't be panto season without Pricey though. Also, if you love Towie, then do not miss Jack and the Beanstalk with none other than the actual Dan Osborne at the Epstein Theatre. I will definitely be at that one. Also Thelma from Gypsy Weddings and the gorgeous Suzanne Collins in that one too. That looks good but we've got a beanstalk off St. Helens Theatre Royal. They've also got Jack and the Beanstalk. It stars Linda Nolan, uh, the very pink and lively Claire Simo off the radio. Uh, I wonder who'd win if there was a big mass brawl between all these between pantos. Two. Yeah. My money would be on Dan Osborne every time. See I think Pricey could take him. <laughs> class! I think there'd be murder. Uh, gig wise, loads going on musically Always. as ever. Uh, just down the road, Liverpool Legends China Crisis. They play The Cavern on the 11th and 12th of December. One of my favourite bands, Space. They're coming back and they're playing the East Village Arts Club on the 13th. And you'll hear more of him very soon. You heard him before. Mr Stephen Langstaff is going to be playing the Epstein this coming Saturday, the 6th. Don't miss it. Can't wait for that. Also, Scouts of the Antarctic continues at the Royal Court. And another comedy, Dreaming of a Barry White Christmas, is on at the Echo Arena from the 15th of December. We've got more on that on next week's show. But if you love a giggle, check out comedian Lee Mack. He's playing at the Empire on the 15th of December. And Ross Noble, who I love, is coming to the Phil on the 11th. Yep, Pete Riley is playing the Zanzibar oh, on the 13th of December. And also, a big Christmas carol concert by Russell Watson is coming to Liverpool Cathedral on December. The 13th. See, I love carols, I love Russell Watson, but what cathedral is that one? Is it the Wigwam or the Brown? It's one? the big brown one. I can't, oh, I don't know me cathedral so from useless. cathedral. Rubbish. Anyway, something that happened a couple of weeks ago was a music gig in a train station. Choo -choo. This bloke next to me was there hosting and making a right racket on the yeah. train lines of Liverpool. Check this out. It is the Mersey Rail Sound Station podcast finale. Now these acts are some of the creme of the crop of Merseyside's musical talents. I'm trying to watch it unfold down these escalators. Uh, but follow me, we're going to choose one winner that is going to win a huge prize. The winner of the Mersey Rail Sound Station Prize 2014 is... It's Blue Saint! <laughs> so you've just heard it announced. Uh, the winner of the Mersey Rail Sound Station Prize 2014. He's with me now. How are you feeling, Blue Saint? Ecstatic, like I, I just got into Scrabble, like I can't even put on weird house. 
happy I am right now. <laughs> you've won a year of, of industry mentoring. Yeah. You've won free Merseywell travel. You've won recording time at Tankfield Studios. You've won a slot on Bay TV Liverpool, uh, which is coming up very soon. Yeah. And you're getting whisked off to a radio station now to perform live. Yeah. Mate, your like... smile's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> exactly. Like I just, like, it's just such an amazing opportunity, and I'm just so like appreciative mm. that I've been able to you know, gain this opportunity. Well done to all involved at the Mersey Rail Sound Station final and a big well in to Blue Saint, the winner. Looked a great day and a great showcase of musical talent right here on Merseyside. Talking of musical talent, our next guest is with us. It's only Peter Hooten from the farm. Peter, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thanks, yeah. Now, something special's been going on in the city recently. Tell us a yeah. little bit more about it. Yeah, we've been recording uh, a rework version of All Together Now to coincide with the 100th centenary uh, of... Um, the um, Christmas truce, and we've been doing it in London and Liverpool. Okay. With numerous artists, you know, and I think we're going for the Guinness Book of Record of artists. <laughs> who, who have you got involved? Well, uh, originally we got involved. We got um, Suggs from Madness and yeah. Mick Jones to get involved in the production, but uh, we've just been swamped really with uh, people since, you know. Just and, wanting uh, to get involved. Yeah, I mean, groups like Clean Bandit and Gorgon City Amazing. are involved. Um, Gabrielle singing on it. Um, we've got a whole load of classic. We've got Dave McKay from the Zootons, Tommy Scott from Space, Gary Christie, and um, also I am Clute from Manchester. You know, so we've just we've just got so many people involved. And it's, they're it's from incredible. all over the country as well. All over the world. Engelbert Humperdinck flew in from uh, Australia, believe it or not. Leo Sayer sent vocals from uh, Australia. Julian Lennon sent vocals from Los Angeles, you know. Uh, the Wombats there in Los Angeles at the moment, they send vocals over, so it's just... It, Everyone it's, wants to contribute yeah, in some way. Yeah, yeah, and I think um, the, the one thing about this is people have got involved in it because they honestly want to get involved yeah. in it. It's, it's, it's one of those things. We, we uh, told them what it was all about. Yeah. It was raising money for the Red Cross, uh, but it was also an idea of the Premier League okay. uh, because they said it was the 100th anniversary and they were doing a big truce tournament in Eeps in December. And they said, any chance of re-recording the song and getting our kids on it? So there's 60 kids from the Premier League and the Bundesliga all singing all together now. And they do a, they do a German chorus as well, which is, you know, it's really touching. Really actually, special. You know. Yeah, it's, you know, and it's, the song, you know, the song is, um, it's different from the original. Okay. Because you've got all these modern sounds, like Clean Band that are brilliant and uh, Gorgon City. And they've made a fantastic contribution to the music, you know. Well, you said the record's very different, so I think that we should take a listen to the record and take a look at it right now. This is the Peace Collective with All Together Now. All together. Great, Peter, thanks for coming in. Pleasure. Okay, thank you, Ellie. Thank you, Peter Hoot. What a legend he is. Love that. Another legend sat with me, though, is Mr. Steve Langstaff. You heard him play a little bit earlier. Uh, you're at the Epstein on Saturday, Steve. Uh, yeah, Saturday night. Can't Looking wait. To it? I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm on tour at the minute. Uh, so Saturday's going to be a special night. Big big venue, lovely theatre, and, um, yeah, I'm, I can't wait. And people, still still tickets available for this? Yeah, there's still some left. Still some left. Um... So you can get them on Ticket Line or go to the Epstein website, um, and it is going to be a it's going to be a special one. Like I think uh, I played there before, and it was such a good night, and so much has happened since I played there, and I just think uh, we're going. I'm going to kind of bring everything that has been happening since the last visit, in terms of songs and everything else, some stories, and. Uh, do that for the year. You talk stories, you've got millions because Nashville, you've just you've just got back from Nashville recording over there. What's it like being a scouser in Nashville? It's amazing. I, I love it. I, I genuinely see parallels between the city and Nashville. So I felt really comfortable there. Um, I mean it's 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 an it's a music city. Mm. People got a sense of humour. Um I I I really feel connected there and um and yeah they you know the accent thing is, is a funny thing because over here like I feel like I've got a fairly distinctive Scouse accent. Yeah. Over there, you could be like, you know, you could be Colin Firth talking <laughs> to, you know, what could I mean? be the Queen. Yeah, you could be anyone. And uh, uh, so that that's funny. But um, no, I love Nashville. It's it's Brilliant. kind of become my second home. Well, listen, you're gonna play us out one more track. What what yeah. will you do first, Steve? I'm gonna be doing "Don't Hold Me Back." 
okay. And new single Sirens is out in the new year, and there's lots online as well. Check out Stephen Langstaff. Thanks for coming in, mate, and uh, we'll let you play. Enjoy. Tell you what, what a lovely guy. Wasn't he brilliant? Such a nice guy. And what a great first show it's been for us. Let us know what you think on Twitter by using the hashtag BayTVGuy. And next week we are getting all Christmassy at Liverpool One's Ice Festival. We're going to put our feet up, we're going to chill in the ice bar uh, with a nice... No, 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 no. We're going to go to the ice rink and we're going to do some ice skating. Have you seen my legs? Big lanky legs. I'll be like a letter S if you put me on ice. I'll be like Bambi. Yeah, Not yeah, happening. but if we let you loose in the ice bar, you're going to be like a letter S anyway, let's uh, be honest. Yeah, Can't so really handle as more wine this one. Not good with mulled wine, so yeah, I'll agree with that. Uh, but we've got a fun pack show, loads more celebrities, loads more music and loads more goss to feast your ears around. Indeed. Listen, thanks for checking us out. We'll see you here next time on Liverpool's brand new television station, Bay TV. Our fair show is done and we loved it. Thanks for checking us out on The Guide. Steve Langstaff is going to play for us now and we will see you next week. Look after yourself. Take care. Traveler, don't hold me back.